This is the most famous integral in mathematics. Uh, we have this integral from 0 to pi by 2, ln sin y dy. Uh, okay. So for this, uh, we will use King's rule. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know what King's rule is, it's something like this. Integral from a to b f of x dx is equals to integral from a to b f of a plus b minus x dx uh, we have two ways to see why uh, this is true one is by simple evaluation as well so the interderivative of this is capital f of x from a to b so this is capital f of b minus capital f of a and from the other way as well we will get something capital f of a plus b minus x and since we have negative x uh, we will write the coefficient in denominator and from a to b now if we evaluate this we get minus f of a and plus f of b which is the same thing so i guess from this you can see uh, why this king's rule is true now let's proceed to the solution Hmm. Now uh, let's say this integral is i uh, from 0 to pi by 2 and this is ln of sin y dy. If you use King's rule, this integral is also a cost integral from 0 to pi by 2 ln of and sin of 0 plus pi by 2 minus y dy. So that is integral from 0 to pi by 2 ln of cos y dy. So these two integrals are equal. So now uh, we will try to add them up. We will try to add them. So that's uh, 2i equals to integral from 0 to pi by 2 ln of sin y plus ln of cos y which in this to product so ln of sin y times cos y dy now sin y times cos y is just a sin 2y by 2 so we will have 2y equals to integral from 0 to pi by 2 uh, ln of sin 2y by 2 now we can take uh, uh, this you can just change the numerator and denominator as uh, two different components and just uh, leave a subtract sign in middle that means we are going to use uh, the property that ln of a by b equals to ln a minus ln b so we'll use this property and if we use that uh, it's going to be something like this ln of sine 2y minus ln 2 dy and after this uh, we will have 2i equals to integral from 0 to pi by 2 ln of sin 2i dy minus ln 2 integral from 0 to pi by 2 dy and now for this uh, we can just let 2i as z or z so when z equals to 2i we have dz equals to 2 dy so dz by 2 equals to dy now we will make this uh, change and we will get into i equals to integral from uh, 0 to pi ln of sin z sin z dz minus this will be ln 2 times pi by 2 now again for this integral uh, because we know that uh, the value of sin z the value of sin z uh, from 0 to pi by 2 
it will be same as its value from uh, pi by 2 to pi so since sine has the same value from 0 to pi by 2 and also from pi by 2 to 0 so uh, this integral uh, from 0 to pi by 2 ln sin z sin z dz is equals to pi by 2 to pi ln of sin z dz uh, so this is this is uh, going to hold since the sin and z just repeats its same value while going from pi by 2 to pi as it had from 0 to pi by 2 so now using this uh, using this what you can do is you can uh, just sorry you can have 2i equals to uh, this will be uh, I guess we had here dz by 2 I forgot that okay now we will have and now we will have 1 by 2 into 2 integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin z dz minus pi by 2 ln of 2 now this is just our original integral and we have this cancellation over here so 2i equals to i minus pi by 2 ln 2 and if we take the i to other side we have i equals to minus pi by 2 ln 2 so this is our integral uh, the value of the integral as minus pi by 2 ln 2 so yeah the answer is uh, minus pi by 2 ln 2 which is what we have got I hope you understood uh, the solution. Thanks for watching.